Glad you're with us, but that's because a food service worker at Social Kitchen on Maple has been diagnosed with hepatitis A. And that employee may have exposed patrons to the virus. Let's get to Dr. Frank McGeorge. He joins us now with details. How serious is this? Well, Carmen and Evan, this is actually very important because unlike other forms of hepatitis, which are spread by blood, hepatitis A is spread by contaminated food and water. So the health department is warning anyone who might have eaten at the restaurant between July 16th and August 6th that they may have been exposed to the virus. Now hepatitis A causes inflammation of the liver, so symptoms can include a fever, diarrhea, abdominal pain, dark urine, and jaundice, which causes yellowing of the skin or the whites of the eyes. Symptoms typically begin two to four weeks after exposure, but they can show up as late as two months after the exposure. The good news here is there is a preventative treatment for potentially exposed people. There's a vaccine and a different treatment, immunoglobulin, that can be very effective if given within two weeks of the exposure. The important point here is if you think you were exposed, it's a really good idea to contact your doctor or the health department. Most people who develop hepatitis A, they do recover completely and they develop immunity, but occasionally it can cause serious life-threatening liver failure. So it is nothing to be ignored. Don't play there's around no, with it. There's no really getting around how this happened. This is why there are signs in restaurants saying employees need to wash their hands after they leave a bathroom, That's right? A nice That's exactly right. I mean, quite frankly, this is contamination from the digestive tract. Yeah, yeah, all right. Okay, well, Social Kitchen did release a statement a short time ago, and I will read part of it to you. And they say, immediately upon learning of the diagnosis, we contacted the health department, and fortunately, no one else has reported any illness. On August 8th, the health department inspected the restaurant and authorized us to remain open. The restaurant is 100% compliant with health department regulations and will continue to maintain the highest food safety standards.